Okay, so here's a voltmeter hooked up to my car, which is running, as you can hear. And the output with the alternator is 14.3 volts up and down. All right. Pretty much consistent in the industry, about 14 to 14.3 14 uh, volts output from an alternator. All right, so now I'll show you what a battery is static without it running. So here we are with the car shut down. Now, to do this video, I came out and started. My battery is not obviously not fully charged. A fully charged battery is about 13.4, somewhere around there, depending on the age of the battery. Um, obviously, in the little bit of time I was running it since I started it, the alternator did not have time to charge it fully. So 12 and a half it's sitting at right now. Uh, trust me, if I let it run for a while and drove it, it would be uh, well over 13 volts fully charged. That is a fact, you can look it up anywhere. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rip measure my spider battery that's been sitting and uh, see what it says. I'm reading 12.8, all right? So if it was fully charged as well, uh, it would be about 13 volts, maybe a little more, <clears throat> maybe a little less. So basically, we're reading about the same voltage as my car. Now we'll start the spider and see what it reads. Okay, spider started, and here we go. Oh gee, look at that, 13.6. And the reason is the magneto behind the regulator uh, and the battery being fully charged, the voltage is not as high. I guarantee if my battery was low and that uh, magneto was charging it, it would read higher than that. But needless to say, 13.6 versus 14.3 is not going to fry anything, all right? It's not enough of a difference, and that's the system. But again, if my spider battery was as low as my car, I'd be reading a higher voltage. That's the way it works. Sorry for the jiggly camera. 